Clay Copeland. I am the manager of Cordova Electric Cooperative and the mayor of Cordova, Alaska. When I got into the energy industry, my goal was to have a very quiet job that I could go to work and then go home and go fishing, hunting, hiking, enjoy Alaska and the outdoors. That was really my career goal. Uh, but then energy got very exciting. <laughs> Cordova is just a land of opportunity, both on the energy side and on the fisheries side. I love Cordova because I love the land here and the surroundings, just the scenic beauty of the place. There are very few places, even in Alaska, where it has a little bit of everything. A very large freshwater wetlands complex and mountains that surge right up out of the, the tidewater up to their peaks. It's scenically very beautiful. And the people that lived here, the sense of community extends beyond just other people. It's a sense of belonging in this place. Where is there? When Cordova originally started its transition from fossil fuels to renewables, it was driven more by self-sufficiency than anything. Uh, we have very fierce coastal storms here. Uh, we'd had a winter storm where we couldn't get any fuel barges into the community. And uh, then it was very difficult during that storm to fly fuel in. So there was a real concern about the ability to keep the lights on, uh, particularly in a tough storm where, where there's other downstream effects. Initially, Cordova is really trying to get off of diesel fuel to have more self-sufficiency. As time went on, Exxon Valdez kind of played into recognition that it's also a better environmental approach. Cordova sits on the eastern side of Prince William Sound, and Valdez on the western side of the Sound is the oil terminal. So as one of those tankers was transiting, they hit a reef and had a, one of the most disastrous oil spills in history. And it really had a negative impact on the people, the beaches, the ecosystem, and especially the fisheries. Cordova was economically and really psychologically devastated by the event. I became involved in renewable energy when I moved to Switzerland more than a decade ago. And that's when I realized the possibilities towards a carbon neutral future. We get excited when we see successes such as Cordova because they've been able to use diesel only as backup. And over time, you know, getting to 100% renewable, that's really the, that's the ultimate goal. A microgrid is basically a self-sufficient small-scale power grid where the electrical system can be self-contained. The beautiful thing about microgrids is you're leveraging the natural resources locally. In case of Cordova, it's the hydropower plants. In the desert, it's the sun. In other parts of the world, you have the wind. And sometimes you can use the combination of two or three of these. It's scalable and can evolve with the needs of the community. Hey, Clay, good to see you. Good morning, Maxine, at least on my side of the world. <laughs> How did our microgrid do? All good? It did fantastic. How was the consumption of the um, the diesel? So, and they comment on it. They said, hey, we haven't heard the diesels running. And, it's a, and we call it the golden sound of silence. <laughs> that sounds great. I'm passionate about sustainability. And ultimately, at the heart of sustainability is ensuring everyone has quality of life. They have access to reliable power. They have energy independence. For me, that's that's really what's important. There's a lot of challenges associated with the microgrid, but it also comes with some huge benefits. We built it and we were successful. I felt like it was a big psychological lift for the community. And at the end of the day, that's what's important, right? How does this impact people's lives? What does all this transition to renewable energy mean for putting food on tables and having cleaner air and water and better health and better quality of life. So if we can produce electricity locally and responsibly, and we can use it for all of our energy needs, from transportation to heating to all of our electrical appliances and businesses, then that's a big win.